Having a plugin to multi-stream and maybe even vertically stream is a very cool thing. Also, it is affordable as there are some very good free ones out there. Maybe you even have TikTok Live Studio running next to OBS to handle your TikTok presence. All of this is cool and there's so much software you can use. It is great unless your PC is just a potato or nothing better than the scientific calculator you were using at high school. Today I want to talk about a method that is way less taxing on your PC hardware, meaning if you can stream to one service, you can stream to all of them without pulling more performance. A little explanation on the service in general and then a straightforward tutorial. There's some downsides though you need to consider, but we will get to them later. We're talking about a service called Restream and how the service looks like in late 2024. Restream is in fact a free service if you can live with the restrictions they are giving you, meaning the free plan only giving you two channels and a watermark on your video. The watermark is though only a small Restream logo in the corner, nothing too fancy. If you need more prices, start at 60 US dollars a month and go up to 199 US dollars a month. If you are a content creator, most likely you will be somewhere between free and standard. So how do we use the service? This looks honestly way more complicated than it is. Once you are in, you can see your small dashboard. Under edit destinations, you can select where you want your stream to be relayed. Twitch is really straightforward. YouTube also somewhat even though you need to create or select an event each time you stream. TikTok is different as the key changes with every stream, sometimes even the server. So you would first go into your live center, start your stream, copy the key and enter it into your restream window. My workflow is usually as follows. Have YouTube and Twitch prepared, go live with OBS Studio, go live in the TikTok Live Center, so on the website, copy the data from TikTok over to Restream and activate the destination if it wasn't activated before. Restream will now just relay your video to all of the selected platforms. No changes are being made, meaning whatever you do on your OBS is valid for all of these destinations. Setting up your OBS to use Restream is fairly simple as well, as OBS Studio has as a pre-configured provider. Just head to your stream settings and select Restream as a provider. Click to connect, enter your credentials and you're done. Restream really created a straightforward service here which is really easy to use. As a little extra, Restream records your video for you and you can upload videos to stream if you don't want to go live in OBS. With the latter, just make sure you are in line with the TOS of your streaming service. For example, TikTok does not allow you to do replays of recorded streams. I know many do it but it's actually forbidden. You can also stream directly from the Restream dashboard using your browser. An additional Restream offers you a bot to sync chats between multiple services. I know Twitch does officially not allow it, but I do it anyway. Also, you can have a combined chat in your OBS Studio to see the chat activity of all your services just in one. As promised though, here are some, well, somewhat downsides of using Restream you should be considering when using their services. First, the price. Luckily, Restream offers a free service and it would probably serve for most smaller content creators just fine. The watermark is not too big and it allows you to pass 1080p streams. 16 US dollars for more is not cheap, so please don't overestimate your reach when you're just starting as a streamer. Start small. Second thing is there is no audio multitrack. There's absolutely no audio multitrack. I have to repeat that. If you're thinking about having Spotify on a separate track to remove it from your Twitch VODs, this will not work. You're always sending the sum of your audio to Restream. If you're playing your favorite playlist, reconsider it as YouTube and TikTok, for example, are very fast in taking down your live stream. Third point is no enhanced broadcasting. Twitch is currently working on something called enhanced broadcasting which basically means encoding your stream multiple times on your PC and sending it over to Twitch. It's more or less a way to outsource the needed transcoding power onto your own computer. Enhanced broadcasting is not possible with Twitch when using Restream. Fourth point is there is no separate vertical layout. Restream just passes through everything one to one, means for services like YouTube Shorts or TikTok, you cannot change your layout to make it more suiting the vertical layout life of things. It's not that bad though, as the video feed will fully support flipping your phone and such. So people are not in a disadvantage. Just remember if you want to do some extra shenanigans just for vertical streaming, you can't. Last but not least, channel point or bit activity from Twitch is not shown in the combined restream chat. 
to not miss anything, you will need to open up the Twitch dashboard somehow to keep track of what is happening. Personally, the last point is what is bugging me the most on Restream. And I really hope they might be changing that in the future. And that is the magic. I hope this helps you somewhat and if you have any questions, feel free to drop them into the comments below. I will link Restream into the description below if you want to try it. It is a referral link, just so you know, but I'm not affiliated or partnered with Restream in any way. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. You know the usual drill. Take care and happy streaming.